So, this is me. I have just moved into my new apartment. It is um, interesting, um, but in a good way, possibly. I don't know. Um, so I'm just about to give you the grand tour. Uh, I'll give you the wee summary. I started um, stopped training on Friday, and um, we stopped early, and then we had a branch meeting, um, and basically we were we paid for. Um, paid our deposit and then we all went out in the town um, the town being Narita um, <laughs> which had a a, a, a bar gin which is a Irish pub not a very good one at that but what can you say um, there is however <laughs> I took a wee clip which you'll see I'll post it up with this um, of the band that was playing that night um, the Japanese version of Elvis. It's um, absolutely hilarious. Um, but yeah, so I went in there and then we went to a wee jazz bar to find somewhere quiet. Um, and I was £3 for a drink that size. It's, it's quite strange over here. It's sort of cheap, but not really. Uh, it's hard to explain. Um, some things are really cheap and some things are dearer than you imagine. That's better light. Um, go Drinks are very, very small. It doesn't matter what you get. Unless you buy a pint of beer, then it's a very, very small glass, like that size glass, um, which is very irritating. Because two, two gulps and it's gone and actually paid a pound for it because you think, oh, brilliant. Two pound for, you know, whatever vodka or, or lemonade, and you think, oh great. So you get that, and you discover it's a glass that size. It's very irritating, um, but I'll get over it. Well, I kind of have to. Um, but yeah, so we ended up in a karaoke bar. Well, not bar as such. Um, it was a hotel. Um, I don't know if you know, but. The karaoke, karaoke over here is um, different in that it's not one drunk person in front of many drunk people. It's um, one drunk person in front of their drunk friends in a wee room, getting it all day with a book of that size um, and a karaoke machine that's more advanced than NASA. Um, <laughs> much fun was had by all. Um, Nick was, in particular, really camping it up <laughs> um, but yeah it was a good night um, up at the crack of dawn this morning though which was not good especially considering it had been up at the crack of dawn all week getting hammered with nine, 9 hours of training every day with the most well some of them were really nice some were kind of irritating well borderline irritating and some were just downright absolutely uh, um, that's the best way to describe them. I know I won't write that in a sentence. Um, so yeah. Anyway, they put us on a plane. Um, the people up in Toyama, that's uh, the prefecture, that's the county. Um, there's eight of us. Um, four are in Toyama, which is about an hour away from here. Well, 50 minutes. Um, and then there's four in Nanto. Um, although none of the signs call it Nanto. Helpful. Um, I'm in a bit called Fukumitsu. Um, it, <laughs> well, when they said it was out in the country, I thought, well, it's, it's out in the country. But, um, yeah, it's right out in the country. Um, and by country, I mean there is paddy fields everywhere. Every field will look, I think, God, you want to cut that grass? No, it's rice. Uh, rice and uh, rice. Um, and then these tall things I think might be like super sized potato yam things. No, they're 100% sure not. Don't really want to find out. Um, the, the scenery is very cool though. Lots of mountains. I'll take you out and show you. Um, maybe if I can get out of bed tomorrow. Maybe not. Um, I met my IC, um, which is like a wee Japanese housewife basically who knows English. And she came round 
she everybody's got their own um and they picked us up from the airport and take you shopping for stuff like um like your bed <laughs> um and like just like foods and the stupid stuff um so we went from the airport straight to um like a big supermarket well it wasn't really a supermarket it was more like a big like Kmart or something like that um that had loads of furniture and food and all sorts um so I bought a futon and a pillow I got a real pillow um the Japanese seem to have this thing about pillows filled with like beans or something it's horrific seriously um but I managed to find a down pillow that was like uh, 980 yen, which is five pounds, and the futon, which is an entire bed, it's your mattress and a quilt, um, was 690, no, 6,000, sorry, and 900 and something yen, which works out about 35 quid, a bed for 35 quid. <sighs> These people. Um, so then we bumped into one of the other guys in that Kmart and he was like, yeah, do you know, I just want to go to the apartment because I don't know what I've got. And I was like, well, fair dues. Because um, I don't know, like, what I had either. So, Arises had a wee fluent discussion that we couldn't follow and then says, right, okay, we'll take you to the apartment so you can see what you've got and then we'll bring you back um, and we'll do some more shopping. Um, so... Ooh, I'm going a bit wobbly here. That's what we did. Um, the, we came to the apartment. It's very new. It's very hard to find not good 